The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher, a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on a stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know, that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home, glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with an awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are two things that we could possibly get from this Gospel today. First one, is the power of intercession. We all know that the paralytic man would not be able to bring himself near Jesus without the help of his friends. So yung pagiging tagapamagitan ng isang tao ay masasabi nating importante din. Intercession can lead us closer to God, especially with the help of your friends. Di po ba tayo minsan dalapit sa isang kaibigan nating madasalin kuminsan sa aming mga pari o sa mga rehilyoso upang magpadasal. Ito po yung tinatawag na power of intercession na kahit sino po sa atin, kung may mabuting intensyon at mabuting relasyon sa Diyos, kaya po natin maging intercessor. Pangalawa, tayo po ay pangalawang pagninilay, tayo po ay nilikha ng Diyos na may dalawang dimensyon, physical at spiritual. At yun po ang nakita ni Jesus sa taong paralitiko. Ang kanyang spiritual dimension ay hindi naayon o hindi maganda. Kaya ito ang una niyang hinil o ito ang una niyang pinagaling. At pagkatapos, gumaling siya physically. Kaya sinabi niya, your sins are forgiven. And and yung sinabi niya din sa ikalawa, rise up and walk. Pick up your mat and rise and walk. So ang ibig sabihin po, tayo bilang tao, tayo ay may dalawang dimension na pag ang isa ay hindi maayos, nakakaapekto yung isa. Kung tayo ay napupuno ng galit o may mga kasalanan at hinanakit, maaaring ang isang dimension or physical dimension natin ay magkakaroon ng diferensya. Ngayon po ay panahon ng Adviento, tayo po ay inaanyayahang mag-reflect at magnilay-nilay kung tayo may mga nagawang kasalanan. At kung may pagkakataon, tayo po ay pumunta at sa pumunta sa pari at humingi ng sakramento ng kumpisal. Dalawang bagay, 
Una, power of intercession. Second, that we are, we have two dimensions. We are holistically made by the Lord. Amen.